Now, chapter 23, the Shishumana planetary system. Shukdev Goswami continued, My dear king, 1,300,000 yojanas or 10,400,000 miles above the planets of the seven sages is the place that learned scholars describe as the abode of Lord Vishnu. There the son of Maharaj Uttanapad, the great devotee Maharaj Dhruva, still resides as the life source of all the living entities who live until the end of the creation. Agni, Indra, Prajapati, Kashyapa, and Dharma all assemble there to offer him honor and respectful obeisances. They circumambulate him with their right sides toward him. I have already described the glorious activities of Maharaj Dhruva in the fourth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Established by the supreme will of the supreme personality of Godhead, the pole star, which is the planet of Maharaj Dhruva, constantly shines as the central pivot for all the stars and planets. The unsleeping, invisible, most powerful time factor causes these luminaries to revolve around the pole star without cessation. When bulls are yoked together and tied to a central post to thresh rice, they tread around that pivot without deviating from their proper positions, one bull being closest to the post, another in the middle, and the third on the outside. Similarly, all the planets and all the hundreds and thousands of stars revolve around the pole star, the planet of Maharaj Dhruva, in their respective orbits, some higher and some lower. Fastened by the Supreme Personality of Godhead to the machine of material nature according to the results of their fruit of acts, they are driven around the pole star by the wind and will continue to be so until the end of creation. These planets float in the air within the vast sky, just as clouds with hundreds of tons of water float in the air or as the great Shiena eagles, due to the results of past activities, fly high in the sky and have no chance of falling to the ground. This great machine, consisting of the stars and planets, resembles the form of a shishumata or dolphin in the water. It is sometimes considered an incarnation of Krishna, Vasudeva, Great yogis meditate upon Vasudeva in this form because it is actually visible. This form of the Shishumara has its head downward and its body coiled. On the end of its tail is the planet of Dhruva. On the body of its tail are the planets of the demigods Prajapati, Agni, Indra and Dharma and at the base of its tail are the planets of the demigods Datta and Vidhata. Where the hips might be on the Shishumara are the seven saintly sages like Vasishta and Angira. The coiled body of the Shishumara chakra turns toward its right side on which the fourteen constellations from Abhijit to Punavasu are located. On its left side are the fourteen stars from Pusha to Uttarashadha, 
Thus, its body is balanced because its sides are occupied by an equal number of stars. On the back of the Shishumara is the group of stars known as Ajaviti, and on its abdomen is the Ganges that flows in the sky or the Milky Way. On the right and left sides of where the loins might be on the Shishumara chakra are the stars named Purnavasu and Pushya. Ardra and Ashlesha are on its right and left feet. Abhijit and Uttarashadha are on its right and left nostrils. Shravana and Purvashadha are at its right and left eyes and Danishta and Mula are in its right and left ears. The eight stars from Magha to Anuradha, which mark the southern course, are on the ribs of the left of its body, and the eight stars from Migashirsha to Purvabhadra, which mark the northern course, are on the ribs on the right side. Shatabisha and Jeshta are on the right and left shoulders. On the upper chin of the Shishumara is Agasti. On its lower chin, Yamaraj. On its mouth, Mars. On its genitals, Saturn. On the back of its neck, Jupiter. On its chest, the Sun. And within the core of its heart, Narayan. Within its mind is the moon, on its navel, Venus, and on its breasts, the Ashpini Kumaras. Within its life air, which is known as Pranapana, is Mercury. On its neck is Rahu. All over its body are comets. And in its pores are the numerous stars. My dear King, the body of the Shishumara, as thus described, should be considered the external form of Lord Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Morning, noon, and evening, one should silently observe the form of the Lord as the Shishumara Chakra, and worship Him with this mantra. O Lord, who has assumed the form of time, O resting place of all the planets moving in different orbits, O master of all demigods, O supreme person, I offer my respectful obeisances unto you and meditate upon you. The body of the Supreme Lord, Vishnu, which forms the Shishumara Chakra, is the resting place of all the demigods and all the stars and planets. One who chants this mantra to worship that Supreme Person three times a day, morning, noon, and evening, will surely be freed from all sinful reactions. If one simply offers his obeisances to this form, or remembers this form three times a day, all his recent sinful activities will be destroyed. Thus ends the 23rd chapter of the 5th canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled The Shishumara Planetary System.